Hi crafters. This is Emily with Tiny Arrows Creative and I just wanted to do maybe a craft with me. I've been wanting to try to make this I guess handmade. I don't want to say washi tape because some of it will be fabric but this handmade tape I've been seeing all over YouTube in several different places. Um, I bought this double-sided tape from Amazon. I think I paid four dollars for it and I wanted you to see the brand of that before I open it. So this is gonna be some ASMR, I guess, for people who like the sounds of everything. That crinkle. Uh, I bought this craft fabric from Dollar Tree. It has really cute patterns on it of bees and flowers and stuff. I wanna open it, see what it really looks like. But I wanted you to see what that looked like. They had some other ones there too, but this is the only one I was really interested in. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm not sure the size of this. Maybe I should have checked that before throwing it out, but I'm assuming it's a fat quarter. It says 20 inches by 21 inches. 100% cotton. Do not pre-wash. I wonder why. Anyway, I'm not going to wash it anyway because I'm going to hopefully make tape out of it. And I thought it might be cute for trims on tags and stuff too, maybe. It's so cute. Oh, that is so cute. So I'm hoping to be able to just tear pieces off and put it on my tape. But, you know, I have never done this before. So I guess we'll see, right? Um, how about that and then tear? Will it tear? Will it tear? Yes. That tore very easily. And there's strings, so I'm just going to pull some off. I want the edges to be a little ratty because I think that's cute. And my junk journal. All these threads. I don't think I have any use for scrap threads. Do you guys use scrap threads for anything? Let's see. This one's kind of puckered a little bit. I think it'll be okay. All right. Pulled off all the threads that I could see anyway. And the edges are a little bit ratty. Can you see that? Cute fabric. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. All right. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tug, straighten it out. All right, let's try this. So this is the first time I didn't do a prototype or anything with this. I didn't even open this before. So this is what we're doing. And I have seen a lot of tutorials of it online. I looked up make your own washi and there were so many different. There's a lot of different kinds of ways you can do this too, but I want to try the double-sided tape one. So I think I'm going to you want it, I believe, right side up because we're going to put the sticky on the back, right? I'm going to pull a little bit of this out. Whoa. And line up. So I guess this isn't going to have sticky across the whole thing because I tore it a little bit too wide. But that's okay because then the edges will just stick out a little bit and it'll be cute. Oh, oh man. I'm already off kilter here. Let's see if I can straighten it out. A little bit of a mess over here, you guys. Has anyone ever done this before with double-sided tape? Cape? I'm curious. Oh, I don't know about this. I think I might have messed it up already. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the tape off right here on the end of this, and then I'm going to start again. Press this on. I'm just gonna cut this whole thing off. You know what, that's okay. It'll be a little bit of a shorter piece. Maybe I should use fabric scissors for this. All right, so we have a little shorty piece here. And the edge is like that. I like the edge like that. It's sticking out. That's cute. I would not call this a fail, okay? It's a small piece, but that's okay. I can use that doesn't matter how big the piece is. I just won't be able to roll it easily. 
but that's okay. I don't care. Let's try going this way this time. Hmm? Let's see if this works better. Laying the tape on the fabric. So we're experimenting. And that's good. Oh yes, this is far easier than doing it the other way. Now, I have no intention that it's going to be straight or expectations, I should say, that it will be straight on the other side, but it's all right. That is okay. All right, cut this off like that. I'm gonna smooth it. And that is, it is straight and it is smooth. I did not expect that. Straight and smooth and it is cute. It is really cute. Oh my, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna be making so many different fabric type tapes with this. So I love that. That's really cute. So then when you wanna use it, you just pull off this backing here. Hopefully, if this is how this works. I'm not sure. Yep, and then the sticky is on there. Yep, it's quite sticky. Let's just keep the backing on. This is one that I had done. I think I used my sticker maker for that. I stamped, where's the camera? Okay. I stamped onto old book page and cut it in strips and ran it through my sticker maker. And I love that. That has worked really well for me. But I haven't done this double-sided tape yet. All right, I have some fabric trim here that I have had for many years but I really wasn't sure how to use it because I don't have fabric tack or any like fabric glue. So I wasn't sure how I was going to attach this to anything. But, you know, I could have used it as tabs, I guess. Tabs are cute with fabric. Maybe I will do that with the dots, but I thought maybe I could try this. But look it, I pulled it off the paper thing and it left paper all over it. That's weird. But that's okay okay so I'm going to do the same thing because I believe this is the same width as well as the tape whoa maybe I shouldn't roll out so much at once yep really similar I, I guess the ribbon is a little tiny bit wider than the actual tape but that doesn't bother me at all. This tape smells like um, melted plastic or something. It's weird. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for the reveal? There we go. Moment to remember. And it is taped now. That is really, really cool. I mean, it is tape. I love that so much. All right, I'm gonna do this one too, I think. Or maybe, do I wanna use that for tabs? Oh, I don't know. I like a stapled tab. Oh, maybe I'm gonna save those for tabs. Okay, so we'll just try a different kind. First, I'm gonna fan myself because it's very hot in my craft room today. When it is in the 90s outside, my house just doesn't cool down fast enough. Okay, I guess it's not the 90s. 88 it says, but I'm pretty sure when I was outside, it was hotter than that. All right, I have this tissue paper I like. Hmm. Obviously, something was wrapped in it at one point. So this came from packaging, clearly, and I didn't want to waste it, so... I will probably glue it to something as well sometime because I like to collage with tissue paper on top. I think it looks really nice. Okay, I like this pattern. Oh, it's torn. That's okay. I'm gonna keep this, I'm keeping this. Yep, I'm keeping it. And on this side, you know, it's, it's matte, so it sticks really well. This side, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna cut a piece of this down though because it's really, I need better scissors. I'm not going to use these Christmas scissors anymore. Where is my scissors? Where are my scissors? Okay, here we go. These are my scissors that I like. 
That is so much better. Wrapping millions of Christmas presents for all my family and my five children makes those other scissors dull. I need to sharpen them. Okay. So this is the tissue paper I'm going to use. And I'm gonna start, I really don't want it straight. Do I want it torn? Maybe I'll let one edge be torn and the other one straight. So, there's strings all over this that I pulled off and didn't clean off my desk. Garbage, okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna willy nilly lay an edge down. Try to make it straight against this. Oh, that's scary. Oh wow, it just, that was not, that was not good. Maybe it smells like hot glue. Okay, I made a mistake. Let's start over. <laughs> I went right off the edge. Okay, this time I'm not gonna go up to the edge because that didn't work. And now it's sticking everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, that happened. So where did I put that scrap that I was gonna throw, not throw out? Hmm. Oh, I've got a little bit of tea bag here. Maybe I'll stick that on there. Yeah, we'll just do our own thing, right? That is fun. Do our own thing. Yep. Now I'm just going to actually cut this one out. So I guess you could layer a little bit. That works. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Look. So now I've got a little bit of tea bag on there. It's kind of like a little ruffle. That's kind of cute, actually. Yep, that doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Smooth it all out. All right, let's 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 try again on this one. But I'm not going to put it right on the edge this time because that didn't work, obviously. So, but I really like this little design right here. So I think I'm still going to start down here. Oh, I love this tape. This is great. I can't wait to use this in my projects. Cannot wait. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's going to be all wrinkly. And you know, I'm okay with that too. I'm okay because I like, you know, junk journaling is supposed to be a little messy, right? Messy and artistic and creative and whatever you want. Flip it over. Got a little bit of wrinkles. You know, it has a little bit of wrinkles, but it's really not bad. I'm wondering if I can just tear this off. Maybe use the edge of the tape as a guide. Oh. Maybe if I go slow. Hmm? It's a little bit messy. I like this sound. Do you love the sound of tearing paper? Oh, so satisfying. Love it. Unless it's my kids tearing up something that I really wanted or needed when they were little, right? That was a bad sound. When they're tearing up a bill or something. I want to tear up bills, but I guess it's not beneficial because I have to pay them. What is a bill you really, really hate paying? Tell me. All right. Let's see. I also want to try this with napkins. I thought I had Put aside a napkin for this. I'll have to look. I think I know where it is. All right. So it's a little messy. That's awesome. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to put it in my handmade paper. Maybe I'll do that sometime with you. We'll see. And yeah, that's cute. That is cute. So when you pull the sticky or the backing off this, you know, it'll be Tissue papery. Ah, oh, I love this. I love this. Love it. Um, oh, okay. Next, we're going to do use pattern, clothing pattern. I also like to use this um, kind of in, I guess, decoupage. I, I, or I just like glue stick it on top of things and it gives it almost like a hazy filter, sort of like a coffee filter just a little bit different you know different texture oh 
that's nice. So, again, we're going to turn it around so the right side will end up being out. You know, you want the right side out and the sticky on the back. I want this black here to show. So I'm just going to stick it on there. And I don't care about the wrinkles. I like the wrinkles. So I am not a perfectionist, if you haven't been able to tell. And I am happy that way. So oh, I wonder if I could do like scraps. Uh-oh, the end of this ended up being off. I'm just going to stick this tea bag to it. Oh. All right. Let's flip this over. Oh, my goodness. I am sorry. I just hit y'all with, with my... <laughs> oh my goodness I don't know if it's too much coffee or not enough coffee <laughs> what do you like in your coffee do you like coffee or do you prefer tea what do you like in your tea what kind of tea do you like I want to know all these things about you I want to know I'm interested let's see if I can tear this one off I'm not sure. oh this one is far easier this is awesome and doesn't that sound glorious and I'm making a mess so I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers with a clean desk. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, actually, but um, don't expect it. Don't expect <laughs> neatness from me. I'm not a neat person. So just expect the mess. That's all I say. You know, I'm going to snip this off here, though. And I'm going to snip it on this side. Tea bag is not as easy to tear. So this is tea bag, you know, that was used already. Um, after it's been used, I like to open it up and rinse it out right away in the sink um, and then lay it out to dry like I do my coffee filters. And then it's beautiful overlaid on things. Tear that off. Oh, ooh, there's good. I love, I love the wrinkles. I think it looks a lot more aged. And you know what you could do? Oh, maybe I should. I just want to try it. Okay, I'm going to try it over here. Use a little bit of this ink on it let's just see let's just see what it looks like we're experimenting here together and I'm gonna lightly brush on there oh yes I like it do you see that oh, that looks so cool we're just gonna run that along the whole thing because it looks great Need a little more ink that's great that was a good experiment I like it a lot it looks so aged. And this pattern that I have here, it is actually from the 50s or 60s from my grandma. And it's already aged, but this just looks really nice. I hope you can see that on there. It's good. And maybe we'll go over the tea bag a little bit. The tea bag. You need to trim that off, huh? I just didn't want that edge to be all sticky. So now it's not. And that looks kind of cool too. All right, I'm going to ink that tea bag up a smidge. It wasn't tea ish enough for me. Okay, let's see. I'm going to tear this off here. Whoops, I tore too much off. That's okay. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. All right. So there's some more. This is made with a pattern, a clothing pattern, and double-sided tape. And I think I can, if I want to, I could roll this one up. Roll it up. Do we like that? Yes. Yes, we do. Oh, this is life-changing. And, you know, this tape was $4 for this big old roll. This roll of, <clears throat> let's see. Um, I gotta look on the package. 36 yards. So one inch by 36 yards. That's what this is. And I should paper clip it, but I know. <laughs> I need it. Oh, you know what? I know. I know. I know. This. These clips are really good for this. And I, it's clipped. And not a really small roll of tape made with a pattern. Um, I could roll all this up too, actually. Roll this tissue paper one up. 
and I can continue to roll this little piece around it and then I can clip this one. Uh, aren't those so cute? I cannot even handle it. And I get these little clips from Dollar Tree. Whoops, I don't even remember how many are in a pack, but there are a lot in a pack for a dollar. Um, my bag of clips I really like these pink ones sorry I know it's loud that sounds great to me but I'm sure it doesn't sound great to you uh, let's do this fabric one roll it up and I'm going to attach the small one too clip Ah, so cute. And you know, now if I want to, I can just keep these all together in a little container or something. I may need to put smaller clips on them, but then I have them all together. That's so cute. Um, I can always use these little mini gold ones, but I really like them for journals. Aren't these so adorable? Do you see how cute these are? Oh, they're so cute. I don't remember where I got these. Either Amazon or Dollar Tree. Seems there's a pattern here, huh? All right, let's roll this one up, maybe. I do want to see what they look like, though, taped on stuff. Hmm. All right. So, let me think. I don't know. I, I still want to see, I want to see what a napkin would look like. So, I need to find a napkin. Oh, cute. Look. Can you see that? Yes. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. They all fall over. That's fine. Maybe we'll do this tissue pa packaging. I like this. I like this paper. All right. So I have this packaging. You know, when you buy glass from Dollar Tree and they wrap it all up in this stuff. I think it's Dollar Tree. A lot of, a lot of stores will wrap your glass and stuff in this crinkly it's not really tissue but it is tissue it just doesn't have a shiny side it's matte and this is a really pretty brown one that I think would be nice for paper tape mm. let's use this long edge over here how about that all right let's try it are you ready let's see not going to the edge because that was a mistake last time with that tissue. Just gonna lay it down. This is so fast. Hopefully you see this that I don't have it off camera. My camera is up above, so I have to stand up to see. All right. Ooh, excited. All right, let's tear this off first. Oh, sorry. I hit the camera again. <laughs> I'm not going to be fussy about this. Oh, I'm excited. Let's see. Tear this big chunky stuff off. Oh, this side. Why is this side easier? Mm, maybe I'm being more careful. It's easier to tear. I don't know. Something. All right, now I'm going to smooth all this down. Make sure it's well stuck on. Oh, that's really cool. See, it's just a paper tape. And this one, oh, I can stamp on it. Hmm, my brain is turning. Okay, scrap paper. We're gonna stamp on this. What do I wanna do? Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of the Distress Ink first. This one's curling on me. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Add a little bit of dimension to this. Do we like it? Do you like it? Tell me if you've made any kind of paper tape or fabric tape before. Any, any tricks or tips you want to give me? Do you see how easy this is? See, I'm a beginner. We got we to gotta stick together, right? We have to stick together. Okay. So 
So there's that. Um, where are my stamps? Let's see. I want to find. Do I want black? Get my archival ink out so it's good and stuck on there. Ooh. Hmm. What do I want to do? That is the question. Oh, I have this floral already on a block. So let's just do that. Let's do some of that. Okay. Go this way. There. My overhead light just went out. <laughs> of course it did. It's a like a motion light. So it said, oh, you're not in here anymore. So bye-bye. I should go turn that back on. Because all my tissue and pattern just been on the floor. All right. Um, let's do a little bit of this on the edges here. Kind of like a silhouette. I'm going to dab it just a little bit. All right, I like that. Do you like that? I like it. All right, get my ink off. I should probably wash my stamps, but I don't. Shh, don't tell. Um, oh, I have some words here. We'll give it a little bit of script. How about that? Make sure I'm kind of, don't know what I'm doing. All right, a little bit there. Here. Do an edge there, corner there. I like it. I like it a lot. Do you like it? Um, and I think hmm, do a little bit of silhouette of that as well. That's nice. So you can make your own. You know, pattern. This is what I do for my um, hole reinforces, by the way. We'll do a video on that sometime. But this is what they look like. I ink them up and then stamp different various things on them. All right, let's see. I really am drawn to this compass, so... And I'm not going to line it up correctly or anything because I want it to not matter which direction it is. But we're going to just stamp that on here randomly. Because that's cute. I really want to put a key on here. I think that would be cool. Let me try to find a key stamp. Or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Whoops, stamped on my background a lot. Whoops. <clears throat> That's okay. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm a mess, y'all. Okay. And a B. Too much? Nah. We're just gonna, we're gonna put them both on there once. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I can always move them around. Can always move them around. Cute. Cute. I love it. Um, he needs to go this way. I got these little rocker blocks for acrylic stamps from a rummage sale recently. And I just love them. They work really, really well for stamping. Really well. The images are just so much better than a regular block when you can rock it for some reason. Um, go this way. Ooh, I kind of like that the edge of that's not on there. 
not paying attention enough. After I just said, oh, it's so clear and crisp and you put it on this <laughs> rocking block. <laughs> it's okay. I still want a key. All right, I'm not satisfied. Nope. Let's see. Okay, that. I want to get my big book out. So I'll try to find that. Oh, almost fell over. I need to clean up my room. I have all these stamps in this book. I thought it would be a really good organization. No method and I don't know. Sometimes it works, other times it does not. Let's see. All right, I put all my keys together. That's what I do with them. I think this one would be cute. So I took an old album, see? And I organized my stamps into it. And it works okay, but it's too bulky and I think maybe I should just get a second one and simplify it a little bit. Oh yes, this is what it needed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, sometimes you just know. Sometimes you can just get a feel for something and say, you know, I know what that needs. Needs a key. All right, some of this is a little bit messier than others. Man, this really smells, this adhes this tape really smells um, strongly <laughs> of like melt, melted glue or something. Uh, let's just go right there. Cute. All right. So it's very busy, which was intentional, by the way. Whoops. I wanted it busy. And I like that black and the brown. I think that looks cool. Now, what should I put it on just to check it? Let's see. What can I put it on? Hmm. I could put it in my hiking journal if I could figure out where I put it. that journal I showed you in the beginning. I could put a little bit of that on here. So, or inside, perhaps. Um, where? Because I'm not doing a whole spread right now. Yeah, we're going to put a little bit on the bottom of this because this looks a little bit plain. So, I'm just going to put a strip right here. So, I'm just going to eyeball this. Sorry. All right, so it doesn't reach all the way across, and that's okay. I don't mind. Now I'm going to pull the backing off. That's pretty easy. Try not to stick it to itself. That's not easy. And... All right, that's so cute. Is that not the cutest? Do you see it? There it is, stuck into a journal. So that was just a piece of, you know, tissue paper from wrapping from, I think, Dollar Tree and then stamped up a little bit after I put it on this double stick tape on a page. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that or something, learned something. I'll need to roll this one up too. That'll be, oh, it's so cute. I'm going to be making lots of these. This is a game changer. I'm so glad I discovered this on YouTube and it really is extremely easy to make. And I encourage you to try it. I'm gonna experiment with different fabrics and different papers um, to make different trims and tapes and stuff, but it is really, really fun and Share with me, what is the funnest thing that you've made for your junk journal? What is your favorite thing that you've learned so far? And what are you planning on making next? All right, that's all I have for right now. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell. I'm also on Instagram, Tiny Arrows. And I hope that you have a marvelous, blessed day. Bye.